Before I was born, my Cherokee great-grandmother took to disassembling dream catchers for thread. Unfurling the spiderweb mosaic knots into something she could weave into my double helix complex. She spliced my spirit spine with a thousand willow branches from the hoops she broke to brace my soul. So that when I decompressed my lungs for the first time, I'd always have feathers beneath my feet for the days when this earth wouldn't push back at me with the equal opposite. So that I'd always have a net in my composition to catch and sift through dreams, plant the heavy ones deep in my bones and the small fleeting ones to shine sequins in my irises and they never escape me. I was born to be a dreamer and gifted with the spirit to dare to do so. Tethered clouds to my fingertips and I've been stretching stratus across this earth ever since. Placing the people and things I love in this world to float on indigo canvas. Far enough for me to gaze and guess at. Trying to trace their silver linings around skin. It just doesn't seem to cling as easily to. Or if at all. But it's difficult. When you're the writer and the wisher, the shaman by necessity, trying to patch up everyone else's I wish I could while trying to find enough space between line and meter to brace your own tufts of crimpled feathers, I'd like to say it doesn't hurt. Of my willow and cotton thread parts, my dreams are tender and prone to premature ignition. Solar flares are dangerous when your head's above the clouds and it's stars you're shooting for. Trust me, I've been dreaming on the ashes in my pillowcases for years and I have to say everything for what I've seen. Shining deep, my belly bows heavier butterflies in the billions. They flutter fear out in guttural post punches, and I'm tired of this pregnancy. I want to swallow the sun, burn them from me, catch fire onto the roots of my lungs and cough it all up. I shouldn't fear acknowledging what strikes my world in prismatic brilliance. To learn that love can send you deeply. Warmth in third degrees and added duds exist on the outside of silenced eyes. I want to dream with you and turn red flames blue, lucid and irresponsibly upon the edges dream catchers. Your wishes have little spines, they'll dry, bend, and break. When they're old, release them when they're broken. Coach yourself into the sun. Burn the butterflies, burn the fear. Dream wildly and let it spread across your heart like the fire. It is you were born to be a dream. Come on. Unapologetic for love scent and unreturned. Anything you've learned and for the things you've painfully yearned. A soft heart is the only feather you need. Just don't be afraid to believe and turn a single dream into a sky full of clouds composed of the steam. Tether them to your fingertips and stretch silver linings under all the rocks they sleep under. Learn to make origami cranes. So when your wishes press paper thin and fold, you'll be able to give them wings where they otherwise would have fallen. The fireflies in your pulse for all the butterflies you can't seem to displace. For all the ashes you've dreamed over, someone is waiting to catch your flights of fancy. And when they become too much to hold on your own, braid them into frequency, pronounce them, drop them from your lips, and make full circles. Dream catchers.